everybody, Greg with Drifter Journey, another new video. We are currently installing the passenger swivel seat in the van, but we figured while the seat's out and not in the way, we will do two other projects. So next one we're gonna work on is putting in the rear door speakers. And the upfitter terminal is right here. So we will use that, run some speaker wire all the way along the outside, drop it down up back into the doors and put in our custom boxes we made. So we'll get some six by nines in the back. And then we are actually gonna locate a JL subwoofer under the seat here. Uh, that'll be a separate video, so make sure you check that out. And if you're interested in checking out a swivel seat or any of the rest of the build, uh, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment with any questions. Let's uh, get to doing some wiring here. The first thing you wanted to do was remove the black plastic cover, which we already had off from the other day, but there are two screws in the front, three in the rear, and then these little plastic clips are holding it on, so you just pop it out nicely there. This will probably come flying out. Put it back in. Then we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the seat. So there's a bolt down below, bolt up here, and then I removed the little clip from here so that we can get the seat belt undone. And also, before you start working with electrical, I wanna make sure that we disconnect the ground on the battery. So we had already done that for the other project. The negative is disconnected off the battery currently. Now we want to move, remove the pillar here. I keep forgetting what it's called, but I want to say it's called a D pillar, but I could be wrong. It has some screws in it. So I need to remove the, there's one down here. Take that out. Pop, pop the airbag thing off from the back. There's a T30, T30 Torx bit in here. Last thing holding this thing on. They don't make it easy. We also had, had to take to the foam corner. This guy out, off. which it does have a hook. We ripped it off because it's a pain. We will be covering those with upholstery anyways, so no problem there. I guess I don't have to totally remove this. I just want to run the wire behind it, but I'm going to take it off since we're so close. is remove the rear door panels as you've seen in several of our other videos eight dollars at Harbor Freight these guys are worth their weight in gold so we'll peel these off and then we're gonna feed the wire from the rear to the front so we got the door trim panels off next thing we need to do is remove the two screws here on both sides to pop the covers out where the wires feed through. We are using Anchor brand, 14 gauge, double copper stranded, to so positive and negative in there. It's rated to 105 Celsius, so craziness, marine grade stuff. Uh, so we're gonna feed it from where the speaker starts, down through the door, through the spring action, into the wall, up to the ceiling, all the way to the front with both sides, and then go from there. So hopefully it feeds pretty easy. It is really easy when there's no crap in the way. We had to redo some on, on our back door, and once it's all insulated and full stuff, it's not super easy. So. <laughs> This will hopefully be pretty exciting and easy. If it can fit through here, this is gonna be the question. How nicely it wants to go through this guy. And then when it comes out the other end, I think you might be close. There. Not yet. Is it getting jammed up on something? There it is. Okay, can you get it? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna have to feed 30 feet like that. <laughs> Which is gonna be not great, but you get the idea. We're gonna run it, and we'll show you how we ran it at the end. All right, 
right, so we have some excess wire, which would be more than sufficient. We put black tape on our passenger side just so we remember which is which when we go to line them up. Ran them out these holes, tucked it up the side here so that it wouldn't hit on the seat belt. So that should all be good. And then we are going to wire up the front upfitter here. Probably put this back on to make sure it fits. And then uh, work our way back and then wire up the speakers and screw them in and then you got to reset the factory stereo which I already cheated but I'll show you how to do it and then they should be in so in order to wire these speakers in you need what's called ferrules we will link this kit that we're using below but or, or the adapter piece which would have wires coming out of it, but I think that would have probably been more expensive. Yeah. Uh, but we ended up buying this kit of like, I don't know. 1200 and <laughs> 1200 So if you do yours, let us know. We have some extra to spare. <laughs> does come with a nifty little crimping tool though for these. Yeah, so specialty tool, unfortunately. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind with this process is that these ferrules go in very specific locations down here. We did some testing already to confirm a diagram that we found online, so we'll talk you guys through that in a second. All right, so this is pretty much a wrap on the uh, rear door speaker job. Um, we got them in, they're mounted up there. We'll show you a little B-roll of those because they look pretty good in there. Wired them up uh, temporarily. I just put, I need to get the right splices, but I just wired them, connected them for now. And then the part you all want to know is how to make this thing do it. So radio, media, and browse. Hold those three for five seconds. And I might have to be on to do it, so we'll find out. Yep, so turn it on. Did that so we didn't have any copyright infringement on the music all right <laughs> radio media browse hold for five seconds i am not a paid professional so do this at your own risk so i think you can screw some stuff in here so this brings you to the engineering mode you can uh, that's not the button we want it's hard to mess with you you can hit the down arrow to go through these and the one you want to gonna find, audio engineer menu, A U D E N G menu. Ooh, I got a short to ground on the right rear, which is fine because we're gonna connect it better tomorrow. That's good to see though. Um, so then you hit this arrow to go through the pages, and you want to get to the one that says when you see cabin EQ press down car layout to have rear speakers you need to be eight zero times oh eight so this is correct yours is probably gonna say six zero times oh six so when you get into there make sure the rear speakers are attached already because it says it can mess it all up if they aren't so plug them in first come into the layout you're gonna hit the plus one couple times until you get to 808 so I just went 909 so I got to subtract one 808 so you'll be a 606 right there you go plus one plus one 808 that's what you're looking for and then I don't even know how you get out of this okay 808 <laughs> so we're 808 and we want to back all the way out but we're there so then the same thing to exit radio media browse five seconds You're back to music. And I'm gonna go check that one, but I'm pretty sure it's just when I shoved it back in the door, it disconnected because I just have them electrical taped together. But that's cool that it told me what's going on. Um, so yeah, that's how you install rear speakers on a ProMaster. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave some comments. And yeah, good luck. It's kind of a little bit of a pain, but it's all in all good. Anyways, I have a question for you guys. If you know how to make this stock stereo louder, let me know.
because sometimes when we're on the highway we'll turn it all the way up to 38 and it's not that loud still but the speakers aren't near blowing so I'm wondering if in that engineering mode there is somewhere where we can crank up the decibels so that it would just be then I have the chance of blowing the speakers but then you can just stop when you need to so comment that if you know and that's all I got for you all right awkward yeah uh, so that wraps our rear speaker installation video did we show them where the connections were and which ones they were uh -huh. okay that's good um, yeah so the speakers are in a couple things to note uh, if you're doing it on a ProMaster when the frame under here it's kind of got a lip like this it kind of hangs up a little um, if you don't get it dead center the speakers don't want to fit because it's very close tolerances there so do your best to get it dead on if not you're probably gonna have to buzz a little bit of metal out of there to get it to line up if you do buzz it make sure you paint it so you don't get any rust um, another thing to note down here where these guys go in I got to screw them in still but the last thing I wanted to show you is once you have these in I do a full check so over here check our speaker wire that's run through with that make sure that it can go full distance all the way around and then adjust it if needed and then the last thing I did and this is a little non-traditional but I put a little tiny piece of 3M BHB tape around into the inside the reason being this little plastic piece is kind of sharp on our last one from opening and closing the door forever it finally actually slipped through the wire and then the speaker turned off and then we had to go and refeed wire through the wall so preventative maintenance just put a little piece of tape or some kind of padding there unless you want to take a chance to slice in your wires at some point uh, but yeah so that's it for the rear 6x9 install video on a ProMaster hope you enjoyed leave comments questions below and we'll move on to the subwoofer next <laughs>